Before we proceed, since I mentioned this is a workshop, so that means that there will be some work to do. But before we start that, I would like to have each of you introduce yourselves. And just, just basically your affiliation, your background, and really more important, what is your interest in leadership? John Green, uh, Work Systems. Uh, I'm two classes short of my master's from UAH, and leadership, in my, my opinion, drives everything. Uh, and leadership drives the company down, but leadership drives it up. And I don't think anyone can ever learn too much of leadership. So I don't think Thank you. I'm Bob Waters. I'm professor at George Washington University for a number of years. Any more years? Uh, leadership is uh, what uh, is the, uh, I guess the power behind organization. And uh, perceptive leadership is uh, something that, uh, unfortunately, we don't have much of. We need to encourage more and popularly do it. Marvin Matthews, I work for the organization of American States. I uh, actually at their pension fund and in the regarding leadership is uh, in this changing world, sadly. Um, we have to be <clears throat> always in pursuit of new, be ready for the new challenge. And uh, it seems the pension fund area is quite changing. We look forward to um, try to, to uh, get the things, get all our management, our resource together to always be ahead. My name is Chip Stepan, I'm with ATA, operating contractor at Arnold Air Force Base, and as part of the leadership team, I'm just interested in continuing improvement. So, in a nutshell. My name is Stephanie Brown. I'm an engineer for the Army, and I'm also a, a civilian engineer, and I'm also a PhD student at UAH. And my interest in leadership is providing leadership at, at lower levels of the organization at, at the work level. My name is Steve Cotter. I'm an employee by Mitsubishi Kagaku Engine. Uh, senior project manager, a number of broad spectrum projects. I uh, also teach at John Corbin University. So my leadership is, uh, we all know it when we've seen it in the past tense. But how do we quantify it? How do we build it? with the art of leadership so we can teach it at the schools. My name is John Whitaker. I retired as Professor of Engineering Management two years ago from the University of Alberta. And my current leadership challenge is I've got 15 grandchildren. My name is Nesta Hanar. I'm the director of engineering and I'm working in graduate programs at the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga. So I'm in the same department with Pram. So I think leadership is the key for success. And uh, there's no end, you always learn of something. And I'm looking forward to the presentation. I'm Kathy Robinson from Savannah River National Lab. I'm about to graduate with my master's from UAH. Um, everybody knows everything rises and falls on leadership. Unfortunately, it's very rare to see leadership in action, so I'm interested in learning. Tom Hans, Spam River National Lab, uh, PhD student at UAH, and uh, need some leadership to uh, break the status quo. Uh, Brian Doherty, I'm the manager of engineering for Rosal Measures, which is a, a program for Rosal Institute of Technology. Um, in my short career, I've seen a couple of examples of truly inspiring leadership, and I've seen a lot of examples of really bad leadership. And, the last couple of years, I've found myself responsible for uh, 100 people, full-time staff, and interns, and uh, constantly worry that I'm not becoming one of the bad leadership examples I've seen today. I'm Bobby Patterson. I work here at uh, Electric Power Board in Chattanooga. 
Um, actually went to school at UTC and have had some opportunities to take classes with Dr. Chopra. So uh, that's kind of the background. My name is Joe Costa. I work at uh, Arnold Air Force Base for the Operating Contractor ATA. I also saw, teach in the uh, UTSI Major <coughs> Manager Program, and my interest has always been the relationship between culture and leadership and success in the organization. Uh, my name is Ben Bliga. I'm the Graduate Director of Engineering Management at St. Paul State in Minnesota. So, I'm here for that I'm uh, Captain Peter Brazil. I'm uh, doing my Master's in Engineering Management from uh, UMB. Um, I'm going to be graduating in a year, so I want, like, I want to know something on leadership and how it's going to be out there when I'm going to be there in the industry. I'm Debbie Browning. I manage the engineering department with Pro Assistance Government Services. And my name is Lena Antakera. I'm a sociologist and assistant professor in the University of Mountain Sweden. And I teach organization. Gene Dixon, East Carolina University, I hold the very unpopular opinion that there is no such thing as leaders without followers. <laughs> I'm Jeff Riley, I also work at Arnold Air Force Base for ATA, and there I manage uh, an engineering design organization. I'm interested in the uh, application of leadership to that position. Probably better known here at this conference is uh, John Upley Sutton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eddie Watson with Pro Systems. I'm the Director of Health and Safety. And uh, leadership challenges are everywhere for the big business. Uh, trying to keep everyone motivated. I'm Yishim Shirley. I'm from Virginia Shirley. I'm the My name is Don Kennedy. I'm with Osiris, a large mining equipment uh, manufacturer. And I'm just making some notes here um, saying we know it when we see it, um, how we need inspiring leadership, how it's important, and it's rare. And I'm just thinking probably the reason it's rare is a lot of the effective and good leaders that I've seen, they always seem to end up getting fired. And uh, from the organization, <laughs> and the poor ones seem to be able to survive. So maybe I'm interested in maybe how to uh, have effective leadership and still survive in the organization. Mm -hmm. My name is Chen Chu Choi. I'm a PhD student in the Department of Industrial Engineering at Texas Tech University. In my my personal view of leadership, I think as long as there are people involved, there will be leadership there. So it's everywhere we can hardly see it everywhere. I'm Chris Weisberg and I'm on faculty at the University of Missouri Rolla in the Engineering Management Department. And um, I'm interested in this session because at university campuses there are lots of opportunities to lead and there's also um, I feel like uh, not a large number of strong leaders, people that are willing to stand up for um, what's right, and um, those who are willing to take a step and, and do what's, uh, just be honest rather than do what's going to be correct. So. Now, those of you who came in before we started this, uh, we don't want you to get away without introducing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pam Rideout. I am a University of Alabama Huntsville student. I also work full time for the Space and Naval Warfare Systems at Charleston. And I am looking to improve my own uh, leadership. I'm Frances Alston, and I'm with the Savannah Rivian National Laboratory. And um, I'm also interested in picking up information that I can use to improve my leadership. I'm Ron Porter. I work at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. 
I'm also a master's student at the University of Alabama High School of Engineering Management. And too often there's a gulf between management and leadership. And I'm interested in seeing those two gulf together. I'm Judith Gregory, and I'm a master's degree student at the University of Alabama Huntsville in systems engineering. And I also work at NASA in the Marshall Space Flight Center. George? Hi, I'm George. <laughs> I'm interested in all the same things that you're interested in. 